Hello there, everybody. How are you? I've already prepped my face with Village Barber shaving oil. My razor is going to be this Treat Starline Twist to Open razor. And in there, on its first use, will be a Persona Red or Platinum Chrome blade. Mm -hmm. Trying to get that to... Now you can see it well enough, I guess. And my brush is going to be this one I've already lathered, the um, Samoog 1250 bore brush. And I've lathered that in the Captain's Choice copper shaving bowl, the lighter of the two available. And Crashola, excuse me. And my soap is going to be this Declaration Grooming Chatillion Lux line, and I'm going to pronounce this as best I can, Gratio or Gratois uh, League Square. I believe that's a neighborhood in St. Louis where the Chatillion Lux uh, line of uh, scents come from. So let me uh, pour a little water into the sink here, run a little bit of water. Don't need much. Just enough to re-wet just the tips of this already lathered brush, just barely. I'll try to get a lather going here, and I hope you're all doing well out there this week. Ah, ooh, this is nice smelling stuff. I haven't used this yet. I did sniff it a couple of times. This and its matching aftershave which I received a few weeks ago. And lather, lather, lather. Let's see. I'm trying to get a fairly decent lather going. There's nothing wrong with the soap, but this brush has given me uh, fits before, but I wanted to use it again and see if I could do better because my lathers using this brush tend to be very hit and miss. There for a while they were mostly misses, but in more recent memory this brush had given me, well it was batting 500, I was getting 50% good lathers, 50% not so good. In baseball that would be great to be batting 500, but uh, with a brush, a shaving brush, it might not be so great. I'll go ahead and let the water back out of the sink there. I'll wet my razor. And I'll go for pass number one, which will be with the grain. So here we go. Persona Red Blade on its first use. And I haven't used this razor in quite some time. But about two days worth of growth here. Hearing a lot of audio feedback. I'll do kind of a Gillette slide to finish off this side of the face here. And I'll twist the razor over to its other side, other side of the blade, and go over to the other side of my face here. Going mostly downward with the grain. Hearing a lot of audio feedback here. Go ahead and do just a bit of a Gillette slide over here too to finish this off. And I will rinse the razor. Onto the chin now. And flip the razor over, go above the upper lip. And voila, it's time to rinse again.
let's see, although this uh, razor has a fairly decent sized gap, it doesn't shave like a terribly aggressive razor. I would say it's uh, middle of the road, medium aggression, and as some will show you on their other people's videos, people will show you the overhang. There's a bit of overhang of the blade on each side there. To uh, twist or open non-adjustable razor. Go to the bottom of the, or underneath the chin and the neck area. This blade seems to be equal parts sharpness and smoothness so far. I've usually found these Persona Red Blades to seemingly be, in my experience, just a wee bit sharper than the Lab Blues. And uh, I guess the Med Preps, which I do have a few of those, uh, those are supposed to be the sharpest, but those, those and the Personas both do seem smoother than than the red ones to me, but your mileage may vary. We'll call that done for this pass and then I'll come back to you and we'll go um, across the grain. I'm just finishing up the re-lathering here. I got to thinking earlier about how sometimes since I use my camera on my smartphone to record these videos. I was thinking how sometimes I, uh, oh, check for updates and, uh, and, uh, oh, maybe clear the history or whatever. Try to do anything I can, which may not really be related to making the video record better, but just makes me feel better. I will do these things to sort of uh, rectify or clear out the memory of, of the of the phone before I record a video. Uh, I guess I just am thinking that you you know you might not want to hear something like and now pass number three and then on comes Debbie Does Des Moines or something like that. So uh, clear out uh, clear out the history if not the whole memory and and and, and I keep going here past number. Two uh, across the grain, so here we go. This uh, soap seems fairly slick, maybe not the slickest soap I've ever used, but a reasonable amount of slickness. I'm not sure I got the poofiest lather, but uh, it, the shave is comfortable so far, so I'll keep my fingers crossed. And, uh, well, let's see, I've been thinking, it's been a while, um, it's been a while since I've used Williams soap. I have both the, uh, very nice older formulas and the current formula of that soap. The current formula, oh, I don't know, it's sort of like Ed Sullivan, you know, uh, the late Ed Sullivan. It just sort of stands there, but doesn't get real bubbly. Well, yeah, sorry, my comedy lacks something today, but let me rinse. <clears throat> okay. Continue going across the grain here. Seems to me that each soap, and each cream, especially the soaps, uh, need a different kind of brush sometimes to get the best lather from them. And this, this soap, although this brand is not new to me, this particular soap is, I don't know that Declaration Grooming has a lot of difference between their different soaps they sell. But, uh, I had a couple of amazing, I thought, amazing lathers this week off camera. But that was using uh, other brands of soap and different brushes than this one. I 
In fact, those might not have been soaps at all. They might have been creams and lathered in a different bowl. Uh, excuse me. And I'll go across the grain under the chin and along the neck here. And just on this pass, I have had a tendency for the past several months now, I guess, to uh, use my left hand, my non-dominant hand, on uh, this side of my neck when I'm going across the grain. Kind of a little experiment I tried once and I thought that overall, I thought it was helpful. What I could do, and I'm kind of going over something twice here, well I am, but I could switch to the dominant hand and also go over this side just real briefly with that and see if that makes any difference. And then twist the thing, the razor over, and I always use my dominant hand for the right side of my neck, the my right hand. One time I had a pinched nerve in one of my, one of my uh, shoulders, I, and uh, I was having trouble shaving with uh, one of, I think it was with my dominant hand maybe, or it could have been my non-dominant hand, but I kind of had to hold that up here uh, to take the pain out of it and shave with whatever the other, now I, my chiropractor was so good at, uh, at fixing me up, alleviating that pain that now I cannot remember which uh, shoulder it was. Okay, I'm going to pop out, pop back in, come back for pass number three against the grain. Okay, um, well, uh, sort of still kind of a so-so lather, uh, not my favorite lather so far, uh, but still a comfortable shave thus far. Let's see if it can continue that way. No weepers or bleeders yet. Uh, start on the neck for the third pass against the grain. There's still a lot of audio feedback there. On this pass, you may have noticed if you watched previous videos, I've gotten, I wasn't always this way, but I've gotten so that on this pass, I like to start on the neck. Going from the bottom up. Oh, well, I need to flip the razor over to get this side of the neck. I know they say, a lot of people say, take long strokes when you're shaving, long smooth strokes, but occasionally I find it necessary to sort of go like that. Different philosophies on shaving, sometimes one thing works for me, sometimes another thing works. Excuse me. So, I noticed that when I was just doing, say, one smooth stroke over an area, Sometimes I wasn't getting as smooth of a shave as if I went back over it, perhaps going over it with the shorter strokes or another long stroke. And then a person can also get irritated skin, irritated skin on the face and neck, overdoing it, which I know I'm notorious for doing that, but... I just like the uh, process of shaving so much uh, during these years since I've gotten into this hobby. Um, Twelve years. Well, wow. Going on 13 years now, I believe it is. And I'm wrong. I'm wrong. 
uh, going on nine years. I wish it were 12 years. I wish I would have discovered this hobby earlier. What my mind, my brain was trying to tell me is uh, it was June or July of 2012 when I, when someone got me into this hobby. So it's only been eight and a half going on nine years now. Excuse me. The older I get, I guess the more I wonder where the time has gone. Because I am rapidly approaching 40. Okay, we got above the lip now. Here I have to be careful going against the grain, very sensitive area going against the grain above the lip here. So I'll take wider, but shorter strokes here. Just the way I do it. If something isn't right for you, don't do it. My shave is both on and off camera. There seems to be no um, no rule of thumb, no uh, nothing set in stone as to whether I will get what I consider a good shave or not. Most of them are pretty good. Closer anyway than if I used a cartridge or disposable uh, razor. I'll be right back and then it'll be pickup time. Well, uh, next time I use this soap, I'm definitely going to use a different brush. Uh, now, I've had really good luck with this brush using other soaps and creams, but uh, I'm disappointed this time with this uh, brush using this soap. I don't believe I had any major problems with this soap before. And uh, even though I'm not getting a great lather here, this soap still seems to protect and serve. I mean, it's, it protects and it's slick. So, uh, yeah, we'll go, go ahead and go to pickups now, even though I don't have a great lather there. I don't know if this is going to be the closest shave ever, but it has been a comfortable shave. And to a degree, this razor, I don't think it's bitten me a whole lot before, but it has irritated me. So when I remember to, which isn't always, but when I remember to, I use somewhat of a lighter stroke with this. Lighter touch, I should say. Go ahead and flip it over here. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this and go over my uh, neck one more time. Okay. Still hearing more audio feedback than I'd like to. That's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Or at least I guess I'm not a perfectionist. Oh well, I try to be though, sometimes. It doesn't always work out well. I'm going to try to get this trouble spot over here. Where for me, anyway, it may not be the most visible trouble spot as far as 
there's any leftover hair or stubble that is showing, but uh, when I feel my face, I will notice imperfection more over here on this side. Extra stubble will seem to stand out more. Oh boy. Still not getting this perfect and I don't know if I should keep trying. But this is still comfortable shaving over here. Shaving and reshaving this trouble spot. And I think I'll give up on that over here. I think the it's not as bad, or at least I don't notice it as much. The hair does grow a little bit differently on this side of my neck, I think. And uh, I'll be back and then we'll visit our good friend, Mr. Tao. Say hello to our good friend, Mr. Tao. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh. Fuck. Hmm. It feels nice. Pleasant post-shave feeling. I'm not even done yet. I mean, I'm done with the shaving, the shaving part, but I'm not, not done with the, with the real post-shave, whatever. But uh, first I'll put Mr. Tal back on the rack, because he likes that. And I will begin a brief recap, and then I'll put the finishing touches on the shave here. And okay, here we go. I started off before, before the video off camera, prep my face with Village Barber shaving oil, and I let that sit in, soak into my face while I lathered. Um, my razor has been this uh, non-adjustable twist-to-open treat Starline razor, and in there, on its first use, a Persona Red blade. And my brush has been this Samog 1250 bore brush. And my bowl that I lathered in was the Captain's Choice, uh, the lighter of the two copper shaving bowls that they have for sale. And my soap has been this Declaration Grooming Chatillion Lux. Uh, Gratio League Square. I hope you can see that. There's a bit of a glare on it, it looks like. There you go. And now, I'm going to see. I think I've covered everything so far, so I'm going to reach over and get some of the Robert's Rose Water again. Really no surprise, because I use this stuff a lot. Non-alcohol, ick, non-alcoholic. <laughs> No alcohol, that is. It's just a toner, not an astringent, with a light rose scent. Comparable, comparable to uh, oh, Thayer's Rose or Humphrey's Rose scented witch hazel. And this does have witch hazel in it. Okay, I'll put the cap back on this and show it to you again. Robert's Rose Water. Moving over here uh, again, I have the uh, matching aftershave for the soap, the Declaration Grooming Chatillion Lux uh, Gratio League Square Aftershave Splash. And I uh, don't know if this has any alcohol in it, or not, being that it's a splash. I'll find out in a second here. The uh, soap, I think, has a uh, a scent uh, strength of about a 3 or a 4 out of 10. And this splash may be about the same or maybe just a little bit higher on that scale. Okay, there is some alcohol in this splash because I'm feeling some sting. So, uh, 
You might get a little bit more here. A little bit more to put on the wrists. And uh, let's see, already kind of already did the temples and uh, underneath the ears, more on the back of the neck. Yeah, that's nice. Nice smelling stuff. Um, sort of an, I want to say like an amber scented cologne of some kind. Um, yeah, I cannot read the fine print. I guess I should have read that beforehand. But if you want to know the scent notes, I'm sure they're online. And finally, I'll finish up with some of this Nivea Men, the maximum hydration version of their post-shave balm. It says moisturizing, but uh, this, I believe, is their only post-shave balm that actually has alcohol in it. So I'm not sure how that would make it moisturizing. You think that would make it, in a way, well, the balm part of it that isn't alcohol, I guess that could be moisturizing, but alcohol isn't astringent, which should further tighten the pores. And I thought I would use that today because I, I wasn't sure if that splash would have any alcohol in it, and I knew the toner didn't. I usually do like to uh, both tighten up the pores, but uh, try to soften the skin after shaving. And I believe that's about it. I'm done. Thank you if you've managed to watch this far. Uh, come on back next week, and I'll try to be here for another uh, classic shave. Thank you. Peace.